Hey guys, just making some last minute adjustments. Got your materials list here. and We'll start in, uh, oh, I don't know, about five minutes.
Just going to give one more minute to give people an extra second to set up and show up. And so, one more minute. And thanks for coming. All right, let's get started. So just so you all know, um, I can see your comments. So I'll do my best if you type in a question or something like that, I'll do my best to answer it out loud. Uh, obviously, my hands are going to be busy uh, drawing. So hopefully, um, you know, I don't see, uh, I don't miss any of your comments and I can kind of answer your questions in real time. All right, with that said, everybody's set up. Let's see what we're going to be working on today. Today we're going to be doing a lion. All right. It might look a little daunting, but believe me, if you follow along with me, uh, I'll try to make it as easy to understand as possible. And let's get started. I'll actually, I'm going to leave this here for just a second so you guys can kind of take a look at it. And then we'll get started. So maybe 30 seconds. All right, I'm getting a nice clean, clear, clean piece of paper here. Let me make our first few marks. We're gonna start with our black marker. Doesn't have to be a sharpie; it can be any black marker. Just make sure that um, it's got plenty of life. So we're gonna need some nice dark strokes. All right. I got my paper uh, portrait today that's tall. Uh, it's going to be a little bit easier to sort of navigate the shape of this guy's head um, with a little bit more room on the top and bottom than on the side. So that's why I've got both the video and my paper the long way today. The first mark we're going to make, top of our lion's nose, I'm going to come down a little bit beyond halfway down the page and I'm going to try and be right in the middle best as I can and I'm just going to make a line just like that and I'm just going to turn this into almost like a triangle an upside down triangle. And I'm gonna put a little line underneath. Kinda of looks like an upside down coat hanger without the hook. And just so you guys know, I try to go slow at first. Um, 
But as this drawing starts to develop, things start to speed up a little bit, uh, especially when we start adding the color and, um, you know, doing all the fun things. I like to call them the fun things because, you know, my hand gets moving pretty fast and, and I'm using lots of different colors, which is fun to me. Okay, I'm going to make two more lines here. This is sort of the where the the lion's nose is going to be taking shape. So I'm just going to go like this and that. Something like that. Doesn't have to be perfect, but something something close to that. I'm going to make two more little lines right on top of this guy's nose here, like this, and that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the shape of the eyes. It's a little tricky, but I think if you follow these two steps, we'll all kind of get similar looking eyes. So a little bit above the top of this line here, I'm going to make kind of like an arc, like that. And I'm going to do another one right underneath it, but I'm not going to connect it all the way to the tip. I'm going to kind of tuck it in a little bit underneath like that. And then of course I'm going to do that on the other side. That arc. And then underneath. Kind of tuck it in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. Okay, I'm going to move back down here. Start working a few lines into the mouth here. I'm sure if you guys have drawn cartoon cats and dogs and lions and tigers and bears, you've done something like this before. But we're going to give him sort of his the lower part of his lip here, I guess, or part of his cheek even. And I'm just going to go like this, but oh, not too much of a curve, just a little bit of a curve. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. My guy already looks like he's smiling a little bit, huh? All right, now we're going to put his chin in. And to do this, we're going to draw almost kind of an oval underneath here. But it's not a perfect oval. It's got a little bit of shape to it. And I'm also going to use a little trick to give him a... to start his beard a little bit. So watch what I do and then try to copy. Something like that. There's some little squiggles down here. You don't have to be perfect there. You can do longer ones or little ones or you don't have to do the squiggles at all. You can just make his chin round if you'd like. I thought I would try and 
give this guy a little scruffy little beard or something. Okay, it's looking, it's almost looking like a tiger already, huh? I mean a lion, sorry. <laughs> I've been watching too much Netflix. For those adults listening, I'm sure they know what I'm talking about. Okay, the next part is, it's going to be a hard, a hard one. But, again, if you watch what I do, and then just copy me, I think we're all going to get something similar. I'm going to start with my pen pretty much in the middle, a little higher than where the top of his eyes are. And if you've ever made a valentine, I'm sure you know how to draw a heart. And we're going to kind of be doing half hearts around and connecting to the cheek here. The important part about this heart is we kind of want to flatten the heart out a little bit here. We don't want to go all the way out here and come back. We just want to come out. And to tuck it in a little bit and then connect it. And then I want to do obviously the same thing on the other side, but I really want to try and mimic what I've done over here. So I might make a couple mental notes and understand how far away this is and how far away this is and just make sure I'm keeping that in mind as I'm going to come over here and do as close to the same thing. All right. Mm, that looks pretty good. All right, at this point, I'm put my marker away because it's time for some color. So if you took my last drawing session and you did the fox with me, you know how I said, if you want to make a green fox, you can make a green fox. If you want to make a blue fox, you can make a blue fox. But you're going to need three or four different shades of that color. The same thing is true today. If you want to do a blue lion, Get four different color blues, a dark blue, a light blue, a medium blue, and another blue, maybe turquoise, maybe a, a shade of blue, or even maybe even something that's in the blue family, purple even. I'm going to do sort of a red and orange line because red's my favorite color, and I like to see animals, you know, kind of in what color they're, they're made so I'm going to do orange and reds and browns. My first four colors are going to be brown, light brown, orange, and gold. If you want to follow along with me, I'm going to start with dark brown. Again, if you want to make a purple line, start with your darkest purple. If you're going to make a green line, start with your darkest green. Now the trick here is to not, not, not color in color, 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 but to sort of, we're going to start finding out how the hair kind of works around this face, okay? So I'm going to use this point to sort of build the um, the lion sort of center part on his mane. But to do that, I'm just gonna kinda go like this. All right? 
And you don't have to be perfect. In fact, don't be perfect. The less perfect you are, the more it'll look like sort of fun and crazy hair. Everybody knows that lions have the coolest hair out there. So I'll start with that center thing. And again, don't, you know, don't be afraid of the white space in there. We're going to we're going to get back in there and and fill in that color. All right. I'm going to just kind of do the same thing out here. Have some fun, stay loose. Just Scribble, just like they tell you not to, I'm telling you to. Scribble, have fun, stay loose. Maybe we'll do that one more time, just like right here, right near his cheeks. I'm just going to take a minute to sharpen my pencil. Well, this is still the same color, my darkest brown, or my darkest, you know, the darkest color I decided on. And I think we'll have some more of his mane come up this way. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, let's give him a little bit more for his little beard here. I'm gonna kind of do a teardrop shape. I'm just gonna do it really light for the first one so I know what I'm doing here. That V at the bottom, it's going to be a kind of a fun way to finish off our guy's little character here. I'm just going to push these out a little bit further. I like to try and use as much of the page as possible. Sorry if I'm running off a little bit here. Uh, trust me, there's nothing out here that you're not getting in here. <laughs> If I think you're missing something, I'll zoom, I'll fix the camera, but I think you should be fine. Before I put this dark brown away, I'm just going to, you know, do a little bit of extra strokes to kind of make sure there there's uh, symmetrical. Same on the right, same on the left as possible. All right, I'm going to put my dark brown pencil down. And I'm going to take my second color. This is my, I don't know, medium brown, I guess, regular brown. And I'm just going to kind of do the same type of strokes on either side of my dark brown scribbles. And I know I go very fast. And after I do this, I will take a little break to let you guys all catch up. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to stay here. I'll take a look at the comments and see if there's anything, any issues that everybody, anybody's having. And stay loose. Have fun. Don't take this too seriously. If the minute you start taking it too seriously, it doesn't, it's not as fun anymore. I hope everybody's feeling good and feeling happy because I know when I draw, it makes me feel world's better. Like I said, a little bit of color around 
Oop, almost forgot this guy up here. There we go. I'm gonna sharpen my pencil. I'm gonna let you guys all catch up and give you a minute or two. Secretly gonna go get myself some more coffee. I'll be right back. Okay, I hope everybody's caught up. I'm gonna go into my third color, which in my case is orange. If you were using green, this might be the opportunity to be using a, a lighter green, a lime green. If you're using blue, maybe this is where you use your torque, your turquoise, or you know another another light color, but not your lightest. Save your lightest color for the next step. And if you are only using three colors. You can continue to use your second color for this step because we're basically doing what we did before and we're going to fill in around our second color. And just like this, same idea. You can even let them connect a little bit too if you want. can kind of let it float away at the edge a little bit. Hair is crazy, so don't be afraid to be messy out here. Not messy, but, you know, use your scribbles to your advantage. Maybe he's got some down there, too. Just gonna sharpen up my orange here, my third color. And next, I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit of orange all around his face, just a little bit, not too much. It's almost like I'm putting a little outline around the outline I made earlier. There we go. It's looking pretty good. The next one is going to be our lightest color, so I'll give you a second to sort of figure out what that's going to be. I'm going to watch the comments to see if you guys have any questions about what you should use for a light color if you're using different colors. 
for this orange and brown thing I'm using, I'm going to use this gold color as my lightest color for the main. I'm not seeing any questions, so I'm guessing everybody's doing okay. What we're going to do with our lightest color now is try to fill in some of the the white space that we've created with all of our scribbles. Now it's pretty easy to do that um, because it doesn't have to be perfect, just like all these scribbles didn't have to be perfect. And basically just use the side of the pencil to really coat it. Oh, I know. Excuse me. I need to go lay down. Take a nap, buddy. We'll play after. Sorry, Bandit wants to be a lion or something. So I'm just going to color everything all the way down, you know? And again, I'm not going to worry about staying in lines or anything like that. I'm just staying loose and scribbling and coloring right over my other colors. All right. I have to pause and sharpen my pencil. You might have to sharpen your pencil a couple times during this part. It takes up a lot of of color here. And just don't don't want to leave any white space behind in this particular step. It's okay if you leave a little, but for now let's try and let's try and fill it in, all in. Yep, I got to sharpen again. Gonna have to sharpen this guy again. Seems like everybody's still doing okay. Keeping your hands busy, I guess. Got no, haven't got time to type out a message if your hands are busy coloring, right? Okay, it's looking pretty good. I like that. All right, with my same lightest color, all right, and again, you're probably going to have to uh, sharpen it. I know I do. very very lightly color in the guy's whole face carefully you don't color in the eyes and nose 
we want to, those are going to be different colors. I'm just putting a very, very light tint of gold or yellow or light green or light blue, whatever you guys are, whatever color your line is. This is just our lightest shade. We'll go in here and add shadows in a little bit, so don't worry if it's uh, if it's not consistent and your lines are a little streaky. Don't worry about that. We'll get in there. We'll fix it. We'll fix it up for you. All right. Very light, sort of a base color for my lion's face here. And I'll show you why that's a base color, because I'm going to use the same exact light color that I just used to add in a little bit of shadow. Now I'm just going to push down a little bit harder. I'm just going to push down a little bit harder to give it that sort of depth that we'll be looking for. And that's why we did it really light at first, so we could come in and sort of add a little bit of of depth to this guy. And we're just layering the same color on top of itself to achieve this this result here. Maybe there's some darker stuff down here in his beard. Maybe the side of his face a little bit. Just a little bit. If you're struggling with this part, don't worry. Just can remember, less is more. Coloring this whole thing in dark yellow, it's it will it'll make your paper curl a little. You can see my paper's curling a little bit. If you just stay easy and not try to fill in too much or go too hard, you shouldn't have any problems. Maybe he's got a little shadow above his nose, you know. Maybe under his cheekbones here, there's a little bit of a shadow. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, I like that. I like the cheekbone shadow. Maybe he's got a little shadow the middle of his coming down the middle a little bit a little bit just a little bit there we go so what we're doing is we're starting to see some of the structure of um, you know the lion's features come forward and we're gonna do more to accentuate accentuate that so if you aren't satisfied with your shading right now don't worry we got more to do okay Oopsie daisy. Okay. I just realized I forgot a step early on, so I'm I'm just gonna ask you to go and get your black marker for one second. Because this is an important step that I don't want to forget. We're gonna make a few little arc lines just to finish off the eyes. I'm gonna do one out here, and one right here, and one right here, one right here. Sorry about that. I didn't realize I forgot that. You know what, while we're at it, I'm gonna put one here, whoop, here.
I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit, so sorry for the shaking. Just want you guys to see a little bit more. A little bit more of what I'm doing here. There we go. All right, so we're going to continue to do a little bit more shading on the face. So similarly to where I was putting in my darker light color, I guess, when I was pushing down harder with the gold, I kind of want to follow those patterns a little bit. So I really like this cheekbone shadow. So I'm going to push that out a little bit and get a little darker in there. I think that looks good. I'll give him some shadows on his hair. A little beard, a little bit on the side there. Maybe he's got a little bit of a shadow right here. Maybe he's got a little bit of shadow here. Here, up here. I know I'm moving fast. I told you I would go start going faster when I got going at the colors because I'm just having so much fun. Put a little bit more shadows under here too. That's looking pretty good. I like it. A little bit more shadow here. A little bit more. Maybe there's maybe there's some shadow underneath his eye here. Where we tucked that line in, if you remember earlier. All right, I'm going to color in his nose. Now to do that, I'm going to use a little bit of a layering technique to get the color to look right. I'm going to start with pink, light pink. Okay, I'm just going to fill in his nose pink. Now I know what you're saying. That looks pretty sweet. But we're going to make it look even sweeter. So after I filled it in with pink, I'm going to grab red, okay, and I'm just going to put a little bit of red down the bottom here, just a little bit, and kind of see how that has a transition from pink to, I'm sorry, from red to pink. And that's all fine and well, but we know animals' noses aren't always bright pink. So with that said, I'm going to take a light brown. Very light, and just kind of saturate over it. It's just going to give me a little bit more of a of a realistic look, and not such a bright, bright pink. And I kind of like the way that uh, ends up looking. Grab my gold again because I really feel like this guy's nose needs more shadow. I'm just gonna go like that. I'm 
Maybe down here too. And again, don't worry, you're, you don't have to do every step I do. Yours doesn't have to look just like mine. In fact, I'd rather it didn't. I'd like when people add some of their own ideas and creativity to these little projects. I'm just going to bring down his eyebrow a little bit here. He's looking a little surprised. Okay. All right, we're going to do the eyes next. I don't know what color lion's eyes are. I suppose maybe gold, maybe brown. I think I'm going to use the same color I used that we layered over the nose, this light brown. I think I'm going to start there. Now in order to do the eyes, we're just going to be drawing sort of fast circles and we're going to be filling in this area. So I'm going to just kind of draw the first one and just pull it out. I'm going to leave that white in the middle though. Okay. And if you're falling behind and you want to skip ahead um, and do what I'm doing now, you can always go back in after we're done with this session and, and work on some of the things that I talked about that you might have not have had time to finish um, in this short session. So uh, if you keep up with me, you can always go back and rework some of the you know other details that maybe I didn't give you enough time to do. I'm liking those gold eyes, but I think I'm just going to add a little bit of dark in there. Just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of three-dimensionality, and just in little key little places. I'm not sweating it that much. All right, next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back to my marker for one quick second, just so I can draw in the little black centers of his eyes. And I'm just going to make a circle, but I want to make sure to leave a little bit of white inside that circle to kind of look like a reflection. Like that. And I think that looks pretty cool. Just a little bit of white left in there. Okay, well, it's looking good. I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. I know I am. Coming up on my, one of the final steps in this, if you've taken either of my other uh, sessions or watched either of my other videos, you'll know that this is my 1000% favorite part because it really brings the drawing to life. We've spent so much time drawing the shape of the face and doing some shadowing and you know, staying loose and drawing all this lovely hair for the mane. But now we're really going to start giving um, giving this lion a, a little bit more of a personality. Wow. So, this is my black pen, I mean my black um, pencil here, my black colored pencil. And I'm just going to push in, I'm going to bring in some whiskers. Alright, I'm not going to worry about, you know, how far they go or anything, um, but I'm just going to kind of whip my pen my pencil out a bit so anywhere I think next to the nose I think that's that's enough four or five I guess and give them some more over here if you anybody has animals cats or dogs here you know that their whiskers can be crazy and go in any direction so you don't have to worry too much about being exact about where you're placing your whiskers 
Uh, you know, just get them in there. I'm going to do some up above the eyes because I... I'm not 100% sure lions have whiskers above their eyes, but I know my dog does, so I'm going to go with that and just pew, pew, give him a couple of these here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm going to keep my black pencil out, but I'm going to just sharpen it real quick. I'm going to add some more hairs and some more shadows and a little bit of extra finishing details here. Um, let's go with some more shadow under the beard here. There's probably going to be some darkness under there. I'm going to do a little bit here. You know what I was saying, my dears, before I'm, when we were drawing the main originally, I'm staying very loose, and I'm not worrying too much about anything. I'm having fun. Maybe there's some lines in here, and here, and here, a couple here. And then around the outer edge, I'm going to do not a full outline, but I'm going to do this sort of suggestive outline which is going to give him sort of a little bit more of a raggedy and random look because nobody combed his hair and don't worry about it just have fun well, maybe he's got some black hairs mixed in with all of his other colors that's looking pretty cool I'm going to give him his bottom lip we know he's got that lip there, so just color in that little triangle a little bit black. That looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with this guy. I'm pretty happy with this guy. I like him. One thing I am going to do, though, and you don't have to do this. I'm just going to do it because it's an extra step, and I feel like we got a few extra minutes. I'm going to add some red into his hair. And I think what that's going to do for me is put make, really make the yellow uh, contrast a bit. But I'm not sure, but let's find out. So punch in some red here. Punch in some red here. See how that's making that yellow pop out. And again, I can't say this enough. We're having fun. We're scribbling. We're staying loose. Not taking ourselves too seriously because we're just here to draw and you know that's it's fun it's so fun I'm just kind of putting red in wherever my pencil decides to go give it a little extra color maybe he's got a little bit more red in his nose now because of keeping with all the other colors all right a little here all right, I think we've, we've got ourselves a uh, pretty cool looking line here. Okay, let's do the final step. Sign our work. I think I'll use this maroon. Whoops, I broke it. I like to underline my name. Whoop. Okay. I hope everybody had fun and was able to uh, get some sort of handsome looking King of the Jungle done today. It's going to wrap our session. I'll be doing this again on Friday. I hope you all will join me. And I still don't see any questions. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Chrissy been just as fun for me as it is for you guys I hope so enjoy the rest of your day be nice to mom and dad and they'll be nice to you all right see you guys later oh yeah Katie you're right please everyone post your pics please 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 bye guys